Genesis 1.1 says, In the beginning, God made the heaven and the earth. So, whoa! This is the verse that explains the two realms that we find on earth that God originally made. Listen, He made heaven and earth. He did not make hell. If heaven is the above realm, then hell must be a below realm. So, when did hell exist? Hell was a place called Shehol Hades, preserving place for the people that died. And they were waiting on the bosom, either on the bosom of Abraham, or they were waiting in a place of torment, where there was a big divide. And Jesus brought that parable to us. Now, in Peter, he says, he went and preached to the people that were disobedient during the flood. Now, the people disobedient during the flood was before the flood and after the flood, because the word says our baptism is like an unto Noah, which saves us. So Noah was literally a baptism. And he says this baptism is a cleaning of the conscience. In other words, when we are baptized, it means we are taking away the curse of water. This is why if we go through the water, it will not overwhelm us. If we go through the fire, it will not overwhelm us. But then there's another baptism. And 1 Corinthians 10 says, these people in the law were all baptized into Moses in the sea and in the cloud. In other words, they were kept like that. So Jesus came and he said, I'm the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. I'm the God of the living, not of the dead. So God saw the other people as dead. And the living people were waiting for the redemption. So when Jesus came and took the judgment, He went down right after He paid the price. He first went down and He went and preached the gospel to them. If people that are waiting for judgment hear the gospel, they're not going to stay there. So what happened when Adam messed up the heavenly realm and the earthly realm separated and he immediately knew he was naked. But the minute he knew he was naked, God said to him, from dust you are to dust you go. The other realm came with the realm of dust, the realm of the pit. This was not God's original plan for man. Man was not made to die. So when Jesus died, He says He tasted death for every man. He emptied the place. Satan was bound a thousand years, which means a perfect time in the pit. And then he was let loose. And then he was thrown in the lake of fire, which is the second death. We are not even dealing with Satan. But we need to understand the realms of time. You see, our, our teachings are coming from a time of the dark ages where witchcraft and suspicion and bribery ruled. I mean, they scared people to hell with hell. Everybody was scared. People had to pay to get out of hell. They paid penitence. This is how they built cathedrals. The people that really was involved in it were sincere people. But as time goes, revelation grows. And we need to understand the progressive revelation in order to step into the purposes of God. We cannot get stuck in these things. So if we look at Genesis 1.1, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. It's two realms that were in agreement. It was total agreement. I love it when it says in the garden, there is a river that came from Eden, which is pleasure, that branched into four rivers, meaning four on the earth. So if you go look at that rivers, Two are known rivers and two are unknown. The Pison and the Gion, nobody can find them and all the speculation about it is crazy. But the Tigris and the Euphrate are known rivers. So that shows you that the Garden of Eden is not just a parable, it was a real place. It was a place in the spirit that manifest on the earth. The two means agreement. Heaven and earth was in agreement. And the provision that came on earth was agreement, heaven and earth. 
and there was a tree of life. Now, if you read in Revelation, he says, the river now comes out of the throne because this river was cut off. How was this river cut off? When Adam and Eve left this perfect place, there was a sword protecting the tree, meaning it was cut off. The provision was cut off. Life was cut off. River is life. Now in Revelation it says, the river comes out of the throne and on both sides, on both sides is the tree of life. Meaning the river comes out of the tree and tree of life, the root word for it means flowing. So what happened? It was cut off and in Christ, he brought us back to the garden. The garden was a place that manifested on earth. Now, the minute Adam fell, everything changed because on day seven, God rested. But Jesus came and he said, I work and my father works, so God's not resting anymore. And in Isaiah, he says, heaven is my throne, earth is my footstool, where is my rest? In other words, heaven and earth is not in agreement. And God says, where is my rest? Moses was to build the house. They messed up the house. He says, where is my house? And then he turns around. He says, to this man will I look, who is humble and who trembles at my word. Speaking about Christ and the sons that's going to come from Christ will be people that are humble and trembles for the word of God. Now there's another problem. It's wrong doctrine that's been delivered to us through the generations and we just believe that. I mean, I got saved and never even seen the inside of a church and everything people preach to me, I believe. And my biggest shock is as our time goes and I realize, but what I believe is not really the truth. Most Christians just believe that we must get saved, live our horrible life on earth and wish our time passed here and then we die and we go to heaven somewhere beyond the blue in a mansion. No, 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 no. Heaven and earth is a realm of perfection that works on earth. It was separated and at the baptism, heaven opened up and the spirit came and dwelt within a man. This body was then sacrificed so that the spirit can stay on the earth. The spirit has never left the planet. So heaven is not a planet somewhere. It's a realm that is the same age as the earth because God made heaven and earth. Heaven is not eternal. It's the same age as earth. So I always thought, oh, God is in heaven. No. <laughs> Psalm 8 1 says, O Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. So the dwelling, the glory is above the heavens. The heaven was a realm of perfection manifested on earth. When Adam fell, heaven became a throne room and earth the footstool. In other words, where decisions are made and decisions are exerted on. So from the time of Abraham, when Melchizedek, the heavenly body that could manifest, met Abraham, you could see heaven revealing the preparation in the throne room so for the Christ to come down. So when Christ came down, heaven has now opened on earth and the throne room, Christ is seated, waiting till the perfection of what he started on the cross.